Catherine Cole is the host and executive producer of The Four Top, a national James Beard Award-nominated podcast. She will talk about the intersection between breaking news, pop culture, and food and beverage in the contemporary society. Next, let's catch up on the current status of salmon. And finally, a new film on food provocateur James Beard has us thinking about this big man's great legacy. This British wine importer sitting next to me says, well, in order to truly appreciate wine, you must study wine and travel to Europe. And I was like, what, what, what? I, I've been writing about wine for 13 years, trying to democratize it and bring it to everybody. We're in a new, a new millennia. We're trying to say that wine isn't snobbish and it's not exclusive. And here the importers are saying, you can't enjoy it unless you go to Europe. You know, most people can't afford that. What saved me was rosé. Now, why did rosé save me? Because I realized the story of rosé is way bigger than the story of wine media. I realized that critics giving scores to wine and being snobby and saying that you have to go to Europe and study, none of this had to do with the success of rosé. And people were coming to rosé in a more humanistic way. They were coming to rosé and, and they were coming together. I love the fact that when you bring rosé to a party, it is the first thing that disappears. Why is that? Because if you put a Venn diagram together of two disparate groups, the red wine lovers and the white wine lovers, everyone can agree on rosé. It's all things to all people. And it is the bottle of wine that disappears first at the party. I know that because I always bring rosé. Rosé, to me, represents love and it represents community. A meal that my grandparents would have eaten or my parents would have eaten would have been potatoes and steak and spinach. Food is community. You know, this is one of those things where you read about the class divisions in the paper, you hear about this in the news. Oh, America's so bifurcated, the middle class is going away. Well, what does that mean? But if you work with food, you really do know what that means because you know that people who can't afford good food are missing out on nutritious, healthy food. And how do we get nutritious, healthy food to people who have less money to spend? I think that's something that everyone's grappling with, but probably especially everyone in this room, and I commend your efforts. And of course, food is love, because if you sit down at a table with friends or family, it's just the act of sharing. And this is kind of what we do in our show. We have a group of four. We're usually journalists or cookbook authors or filmmakers. We kind of think we're the Washington week of food and beverage. And we aren't exactly eating, we're sitting around a table in a sound booth, but we like to pretend we're sitting at the dinner table and we're sharing ideas. 